So here's a great feature in Ableton's new version 7. The seventh version of the Ableton program includes drum rack, which is just a fantastic tool. And I want to show you how easy it is now to take a loop and chop it up and have drum racks do all the hard work of assigning it to different keys for you. So what I've done is I've dragged in some Rex files here. And if I go ahead and play this file, I'm just double clicking on the clip to open this up. That's our, uh, that's our clip right there. And what I want to do is I, I want to have it chop that up. Now what you'll notice down here in the properties is that there's a bunch of yellow lines here. These yellow lines are actually little markers that Ableton reads and it tells it where to slice up your MIDI file. Your MIDI file. Now you can of course add warp markers and stuff and I'll, I'll go into that a little later. But let's just show you how easy this is with cr creating a, a drum rack from your Rex file. So you're going to right click on the clip. You're going to come down to choose choose slice to new MIDI track. And it's going to recognize it's a Rex file so it's going to slice it accordingly. You could stay with built in. It works just fine and hit OK. Now it's telling you that it's slicing it into 12 slices. And the process is done. It has made a new track, a MIDI track for you with, with drum racks in it. And as you see, you've got all your slices right here, 12 slices. And out of the 128 notes on your keyboard, it shows you in gray right here which notes that, that are assigned. So if you're, if you're wondering where that key is, you can just hit the note on your keyboard. And you'll notice the, the little yellow dot right there. So I, I know that, okay, I'm an octave too high or too low. Okay. And as I lower the octave, I'm getting closer. And there we go. I've found the drum rack and now I can And as I hit the different keys, it gives me the different slices. So now I can make my own drum beats using that kit. So that's a really great feature. Now, it's just about as easy to do it with an audio track, although it, it takes a, a little more work sometimes. So I'm going to just take this little tribal percussion loop that I've got here, audio. So let's click here. Oh, let me turn all these clips off here. And I'll play this little tribal percussion loop. It's just a one loop part, so if I double click on the clip, what you'll see is I've actually put markers in front of each of the hits that I want it sliced. Now, you don't have to do that, but I think that it'll make it more accurate. There is an option where it'll just slice everything up into 32nd notes or 16th notes. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be right on the beat though. So using the warp features is, I think it's a good idea. And basically all I, all I did was just, if I wanted to make a marker right here, I just double click and it highlights that mark and then I can move it to the very front of the slice that I wanted. So that's how I can make that happen. And then I would just right click again on this clip, slice to new MIDI track, and I've selected to slice it on the warp marker. Now here you, you see you could slice it by a half note, quarter note, or sixteenth notes all the way to thirty second notes. And what I'm doing right here of course is just using the warp markers. Built in is going to work fine and then I'll hit OK and it's slicing it into 11 slices and it's created a new track for me again and here's all my slices here and it's going to put it on that the same start note as we did with the last cut so just make sure that you've got this track armed should be red right here 
And then when you hit those notes, and I'm just hitting the keys on my Ozone, my M Audio Ozone keyboard, and it plays it just perfectly fine. And you could program your own drum beats from audio or X files. I recommend if, if it's possible, if you can get a hold of Rex files, I think that would be the easier approach to use. Now I want to take things just a little bit further to show you kind of other things you can do just besides cutting up your, your beats. So let's take this, uh, this part right here that it's made where it just slices everything up and puts everything on a different MIDI note for us. So as I play this, oh, let me turn that off real quick. Play this. Go into here. You'll notice the macro keys and this controls every sample. Now let me break this out so you can see what's kind of happening. Here's all the slices and each slice, if you double click, each slice is another simpler instrument. So there's a simpler instrument for every slice. Now these parameters over here all control every single slice. So if I control the decay, it's controlling the de decay of every slice. So let me show you how that works. And now let me turn the sustain down so you really get a feel. And definitely gives you more of a gated effect. But you can take it even further than this. You could change the loop length. And if you look over here, you can see what it's doing to this clip. And then I can do a loop compression. It does some pretty interesting things. So that's very cool. You can set the offset to where the start point doesn't start right at the beginning. <laughs> and that's pretty cool. So you just get the tail end. So that gives you an idea. Now you could chop up vocals, you could do a lot of different things and create some really unique sounds from and pretty much make a, a clip or a loop unrecognizable from its beginning point. So there's a lot of options that you have once you slice up loops and be able to affect every little slice separately. So experiment with it, enjoy it, and have fun.